Yo, this is your boy Ringo back again with a new video. What I would like to do, ladies and gentlemen, today is something a little different. Um, back in the 90s, I recall about the year 1990, 1991, uh, I received a paper from one of my teachers in school. Um, basically, they were giving out this, pa this paper that had like some encouraging quotes. And um, I was just looking through all of my old papers and you know this particular paper is so old I mean it's literally falling apart um, the name of this topic is going to be called to achieve your dreams remember your ABC's and um, I think that in this day of time this particular chart uh, I need to make a video about it because the quotes on it um, are very very interesting um, Number one, they're very encouraging, and they kept me out of a lot of trouble when I was a teenager. Um, these quotes are not to replace the Bible. Um, for those who will try to, you know, assume that I'm trying to give them something that is not of the Bible. Actually, um, if you, when you actually hear these particular quotes, you're going to see how they actually. Um, are in line with the scriptures in many ways and um, my point in bringing this particular topic up is various issues that I see going on in the world you know uh, the, the economic system is falling apart um, a lot of people are losing their jobs um, their homes their property cars um, you know you have a lot of young um, teens and you know they're, they're in school and they're hoping for a future and you know the world is just going crazy right now you know you got people in college trying to get an education so they can get a nice job um, and a lot of different things and, and people are struggling out here you know a lot of people are really struggling and not not to say everybody is in the same exact boat but the majority of people are actually feeling the pinch if you will and a lot of people tend to be discouraged and down so this particular chart here is designed to help lift up your spirit and what I'm gonna do is share what these quotes have to say and then I'm gonna give my commentary on them which goes beyond the actual quotes um, another reason why I'm bringing this up is um, I've realized that a lot of people are dying in the world um, not only are, are people suffering um, various other things like sickness, disease, um, you know, they're, they're struggling financially, loss of job. Um, they, they're also at the same time dying um, at young ages. Um, recently, um, if I may interject, uh, a young lady that my wife know, um, this woman, I believe she was about 34 years old, um, she just dropped dead just like that I mean she went to the hospital for I don't know what was the purpose but she just went there and next minute you know she's dead and it really got me thinking about various issues in life concerning how we need to uh, enjoy our lives while we have it you need to to actually use your gifts and um, do things that you always wanted to do now um, for many of us, we're waiting until, you know, this perfect day to uh, take a trip to another country or, you know, take a vacation or, you know, something interesting. A lot of you, you're, you're wasting time, you're, you're just um, sitting back comfortable and complacent and you're not actually using your life to do anything beneficial. Now, this particular young lady... Um, you know I didn't know her I didn't know her at all well but I can recall when I was in uh, Creflo's church I can recall that uh, she went there and my wife and I saw her one day and um, we were surprised that she actually attended church and you know she came over our house and you know we was there hanging out and we took photos and stuff and you know everything was cool and then you know recently we got that new and it, it just really hit me because you know she has three kids and um, you know right now they're they're like they're struggling now they're really suffering and 
it's really hard and unfortunate how life throws things at us and things happen. Now, I'm not, I don't know why she died. Um, I don't have no clue why. Um, a lot of times people will say, oh, God killed her or God took her. You know, these are certain things that people say, like, you know, God needed an angel and all of that stuff is baloney, man. A lot of times um, the deaths of people is brought on by themselves or by the lack of certain things they're, they're doing or it could be judgment. It's either one of those things because technically we should all be living uh, a long life you know and uh, another person that I recently heard that died was a woman that uh, is the friend of my wife's mother and you know she was at the hospital when my wife gave birth to our daughter and um, she was a nice lady and she just went to the hospital just to get like a regular checkup or something and next minute you know she came out the hospital paralyzed where she couldn't she couldn't walk and um, you know she was struggling and, and sickly and then she just died and I'm like you know to make a long story short uh, from from that day when that woman died there have to been at least probably seven or ten different people that I I've known or seen around the way that just died and um, it's unfortunate because when people die we tend to say stuff like oh they're such a nice person and it seemed like everybody want to give them a lot of praise and honor and it, it really frustrates me when someone is dead or they pass away how all of a sudden now we want to like be there for them and and speak well of them but when they were alive we never spoke well of them at all so this chart to achieve your dreams remember your ABC's is basically to give people a lot of encouragement on enjoying your life um, you know do what you would like to do today you understand like don't just sit around wasting time and um, not use your abilities the things you do your influence to reach other people um, how many of you uh, are actually prepared to die these are things people don't people don't even think about this because nobody actually want to die we want to live forever so when I hear news of people passing away at young ages it, it really makes me think about you know what would my wife do if I'm not around what would my daughter be like if her father's not there so this video is designed to uh, influence you and encourage you to use your life in a more productive way so that if you were to pass away if that day so happened your life had meaning and your name will always be remembered because a lot of you no one know you no one ever heard of you and the reason is you you aren't doing anything with your life to uh, affect the community to affect the world or to even affect your own households you don't have to necessarily be known by the whole world or be this popular star you could just be a popular star to your own children to the point where they've they've spent time with dad they spent time with mom they they inherit your gifts your wisdom and all of your um, understandings on various issues and now uh, if you were to pass away at least your child have something in them that they can remember you by so my point is again is to encourage you not to make you feel like oh you're gonna die tomorrow so you need to hurry up and do this and that that's not the case the point is you have to learn how to enjoy yourself because like the young lady that died and even what's so what's so terrible about it is uh, her birthday was supposed to be the next day and that's what that's what is extremely terrible about it because she was on Facebook telling people about how she's gonna have a party and she's gonna do this and she want everybody to dress up like that and you know I'm not into the whole party thing 
you understand I'm not really into it like sometimes my my grandmother or someone may be having like a birthday party for her and I may go because you know that's my grandmother she's an elderly woman and you know you gotta pay your respects and stuff like that but on the other hand I'm not really a party person but this young lady she was supposed to have her birthday party and um, she died I, I mean she didn't expect to die see if you were to die today you didn't expect to die um, a lot of you you get up in the morning you go to work you're not expecting to just go to your job and get hit by a car or get caught in a crossfire or eat something and just die of food poisoning these things aren't crossing your mind everyone who passed away didn't expect to pass away a lot of times people just believe the Heavenly Father took them when it could be possible that that happened but it, it could also be possible that you actually uh, were living a particular type of lifestyle that brought that on you. So again, to achieve your dreams, remember your ABCs is the topic of discussion. And I'm going to share these particular ABCs and then I'm going to add my commentary on them in hopes to give you a lot of encouragement, um, wisdom, and things you can do to better enjoy your life now now without further ado let's get right into this the first quote on to achieve your dreams remember your ABC's is avoid negative sources people places things and habits you see one of the main reasons why a lot of people have a lot of drama in their life a lot of issues in their life uh, suffer early deaths um, it's because number one they're always negative um, they just can't seem to be positive at all they're, they're always hanging around negative people they're around negative places they're always about negative things and they have a lot of negative habits and a lifestyle like that seems to always bring you down you see, when I was a teenager and I had this chart, I actually never hanged with people that I knew was trouble. They had a lot of troubled kids in my area. Um, we knew about them. Everybody had them in their neighborhoods. Um, I actually um, was friends with a couple of them because, you know, they live around the way, but I didn't hang with them, so to speak. You have to understand what I'm talking about. Um, we knew what they were about. You know, you have some thieves, you know, like to go rob people, stick people up. We knew who they were, but I didn't hang with them because I knew that if I hang with a guy that he likes to stick people up, then his negative lifestyle is going to rub off on me and I may end up getting in some sort of trouble because I'm associated with this particular person. And now when you understand the scriptures, even the scriptures tell you, be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship have light with darkness. Now, even though at the time I wasn't no born again follower of the Messiah, but at the same time, I knew better than to hang with someone who was negative because I knew that you can't mix positive and negative. It's not going to work. If I'm a person who likes to just, you know, be peaceful, have a lot of fun and just do my thing. And then on this side here, you got some other dude. He's always thinking about guns and shooting and killing people then you know we're not gonna really mix so the main thing you need to do ladies and gentlemen negative sources people places things and habits that is the number one thing you need to avoid because if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time it can cost your life if you're in the wrong place if you're doing the wrong things and if you are occupied by all the wrong habits you will only worsen your life and these are things you don't want to um, you know get involved in uh, letter B is believe in yourself now that doesn't mean you go and worship yourself it basically means to have confidence in who you are and what you can do you know like if you're on a baseball team and you know uh, the game is at 10 to 20 I mean you know you can't and you're losing 
you got to believe in yourself that you can bring the team to victory. You understand? It's not like, oh, I'm worshiping myself. Like, oh, no, Ringo's telling you to worship yourself. No, that's not what I'm saying. If you're, if you're a boxer and you're in the ring and you know you're losing the match, you need a little more points to win, um, you have to believe in yourself that you're going to win. You have to. You have to have the confidence, the assurance that you can win. By all means, you are going to win. And you have to believe that so much that there is an action that comes forth from your life that will bring to pass that very belief. So if you believe in yourself, it simply means to have confidence and assurance in what you do. Now let us see goes on to say, consider things from every angle. Consider things from every angle. You know, when I look at the world, I do a lot of consideration. You know, I consider uh, a lot of things that's happening and why they're happening. And by me doing that, it allows me to make better choices for my life. Matter of fact, when you consider things from every angle, it'll make you understand how to avoid negative sources, people, places, things, and habits. It'll allow you to know how to believe in yourself because you're considering things from every angle. You know, like one person can say one thing, another person can say something else, and you have to use consideration to uh, deal with various issues. A lot of people don't do this. They just take something as face value and they run with it without considering the possibilities. Like you have to always consider every action you take. For every action there's a reaction. You know if you're in the street and you know you go to a store and you're online buying groceries and they have some uh, person that's irritated in front of you and they start looking at you funny, you know, you have to consider what can possibly happen if this person start getting, uh, you know, agitated or, or defensive or, you know, they start getting a little violent towards you because they're upset with the cashier. So if you see another line open and you see that there is ahead of you, use some consideration and move to the next line that's open it'll help you to avoid a lot of problems which goes back to avoid negative sources people places and things if you see something in front of you that don't look right don't stay there and wait for a bomb to go off move to another line you understand if you see a crowd of people standing in one place and you know that these people ain't no good you should use proper judgment and cross the street you understand there's a lot of ways you can avoid a lot of drama if you just use your brain and a lot of people today aren't doing that so consider things from every angle you understand keep your eyes open be watchful be aware of your surroundings look around you don't just be ignorant to the world that is around you know what's going on understand your neighborhood understand the language of your neighborhood understand the people of your neighborhood you understand so moving on to letter D don't give up and don't give in well of course you should never give up you should never give up on your dreams a lot of you have dreams a lot of you have goals uh, some of you your goals and your dreams is uh, on hold some of you buried them some of them are postponed and delayed but you should never give up on your dreams um, if anything you're the only one who is going to ever reach those goals so you have to always believe in yourself that you can do this you understand I don't know what your dreams are I don't know what your goals are you understand only you know that just don't give up and don't give in to the foolishness of life that can prevent you from reaching those goals don't give in to all of the negativity don't give in to all the, the bad habits that keep you back that keep you in a in a state of complacement where you're just uh, locked in a box somewhere don't give up on your dreams don't give up on your goals so again don't give up and don't give in and like I said ladies and gentlemen this chart I've been using this chart since I was a teenager and it really it really is an, an encouragement to um, anyone who is actually serious about um, conducting themselves in a certain way carrying themselves a certain way because it helped me a lot 
Now, if we move on to the letter um, E, it says, enjoy life today. Yesterday is gone and tomorrow may never come. Now, that is so true. You see, a lot of us, we're not enjoying our lives. We're not. We're basically just idle, waiting on a special day to come, waiting until you get that new job, waiting until you have a certain economic status. You're waiting on that day when you get a nice car, waiting for that day when you have a nice house. That's all you're waiting for in order to enjoy yourself. A lot of you need to enjoy yourself now, right now. Um, it doesn't mean that um, you can't have uh, the, the finer things in life. It doesn't mean that. I'm not saying you can't have those things, but at the same time, a lot of us can be very, we can enjoy our life even in the state where we're not able to have all of those luxuries that the world is running after. Some of you have to learn what it means to be content, you understand, with what you have. You can enjoy your life no matter what the circumstances are. The problem is we allow society to make us feel like we have to have a certain level of success, a certain level of possessions, uh, certain levels of material items in order to feel like we've made it in life and really that is all vain and vanity um, just because another person has a nice big house and you don't doesn't mean that that other person is happy or living better than you you understand you have to learn to be content with what you have you have to learn to enjoy the the little your portion just because another man have something else doesn't mean that you have to um you know like desire the things he have because then you're going to get in a place where you're um you're coveting your neighbor's goods and you don't want to covet other people um when you, we read the scriptures it talks about how um but godliness and we're reading first timothy chapter six continue reading from there it says but godliness with contentment is great gain for we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out and having food and raiment let us be therewith content but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men into destruction and perdition verse 10 money is the root of all evil which while some they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows but O man flee these things and follow after righteousness godliness and meekness so as you see ladies and gentlemen we brought nothing in this world and it's very certain we're not gonna bring anything out so just because a person has a big house just because a person have a nice car and all these other luxuries doesn't mean that those items are coming with them when they die there have been many millionaires who's who passed away and all of their riches all of their wealth everything they own is still left behind for someone else to claim so again you have to learn how to enjoy your life today today not tomorrow today because yesterday is gone you can never get yesterday back yesterday is in history tomorrow may never even come some of you are making plans for the future and you may not never even get there remember the beginning of this video I said that a young lady my wife knew passed away she was making plans to celebrate her birthday and to have a nice dinner with friends but for some reason she never reached that day that day did not come her life was cut short and she didn't even reach the day to see her birthday so learn to enjoy your life today learn to have uh, a, a time where you can experience life in a better way now not tomorrow not next week now make plans today to live your life today because yesterday is gone and tomorrow may never come now moving on to letter F 
it says family and friends are hidden treasures seek them and enjoy their riches you see in the day we're living in it's very sad to say but a lot of us we um, if anything our family stem from people we probably see online that is as far as our family life ever really go um, because today I don't know what it is but it seems like most families aren't getting along at all and I'm speaking more in regard of the so-called black family I don't know exactly how it is with other nationalities of people but I'm pretty sure it's the exact same thing um, it goes on to say that you know your family and your friends are hidden treasures it says to seek them and enjoy their riches now it's not saying you know seek them and, and get their money that's not the point of family and friends um, to, to you know try to get money out of them that's not what it's about nor is it some prosperity thing it's basically saying that to have a family and to have a lot of friends and I'm talking about good friends um, that it basically is the riches to know that you have this type of support base which can help to achieve your dreams because you know you can have certain friends that they may be in fact into the very thing that could enhance your career it could enhance the things you do um, you can learn from them to better educate yourself um, you may have family members who uh, may want to support what you do they may have hidden treasures and hidden abilities that can actually uh, be beneficial to the dreams you're trying to achieve so family and friends are hidden treasures you have to seek them to enjoy their riches to enjoy their riches you have to first seek to make them understand that they themselves have abilities and gifts in them too you know a lot of times people look at me and they say man you're a talented guy man you do this you do that you do this and you know I usually ask them well what do you do and they just say well you know I work at such and such and I'm like well what well, besides that what kind of talents you have they don't know what kind of talents they have well if you're a person who is trying to achieve your dreams you should have the ability to look in another person's life and actually pinpoint where their talent is and if you can help them to do that then now by you seeking out that you can help to uncover the hidden treasure that is in them because we all have hidden treasures in our lives the problem is have you found it moving on give more than you plan to give give more than you plan to give now before I go on I would first like to say that that is not talking about give your pastor your money <laughs> no way it's not talking about go to your church and give all your money away not at all give more than you plan to give is basically in regards to achieving your dreams you have to give a certain level of effort in order to achieve the things you desire um, if your desire is to produce music uh, then the first thing you have to do is give more than you plan to give which means you got to put time into developing your craft you have to put in time to learn your trade to buy equipment uh, to get a job to buy equipment um, to try to raise money maybe through friends and other people who are supportive of the things you do to um, you know reach that goal so you have to give more than you plan to give some of us we only give a little effort um, some of you are trying you're doing it only because you're trying to seek money you're not wrong every business person but what you have to understand is understanding your market you have to understand uh, what is your product uh, basically going to do to benefit the world um, you have to really look into um, what is the purpose for your business 
What are you doing it for? What is the reason? Because a lot of times people are trying to start into the business and everything falls apart. So you want to do things.